At 18, I decided to join the Australian Defence Force. Ultimately, it was to get away from my parents. They were Salvation Army ministers <laughs> in uh, Georgetown in Tassie. So I looked up on the uh, ADF website and said, what was the job I could take? Oh, armoured crewman, let's do it. So I spent four years, one month and uh, seven days in defence. 2005, I was uh, on a pre-deployment uh, list to go overseas and uh, I was ready to do my medical and I had a bit of wax in my ear so I had to go get my uh, ears waxed and then I uh, was um, doctor syringed my ear in my left ear and uh, um, perforated my eardrum and which then meant being discharged from the army. You know, I spent 12 years in and out of jobs. I just didn't find where I was meant to be. In 2018, I was on board as a Sally man. So Red Shield Defence Services is a group of Salvation Army ministers, Sally men can either be man or woman. And we have them on multiple bases around Australia. And uh, basically our role is to work with the soldiers in a field environment and also in a barracks environment. It's generally a frontline units that we look after. I look after the 1st Armoured Regiment. Vaughan comes out field to see us uh, in places like Altana. He's got his rooftop tent so he can stay with us uh, and just provides the boys with uh, the morale of his cold drinks and coffee the good chat and uh, yeah, another familiar face for us to look forward to seeing every day. Pretty much every time you hear on the radio that the Sally Man's coming, everyone pretty much stops work and gets ready to chill out, have five, ten minutes to relax. It's definitely the, the break you didn't know you needed until he rocks up. Any soldier, or any person from any rank uh, can go up to and uh, just have a chat to, or if they're having issues, just need to get something off their chest, can go and go and speak to them and just talk things through with, with someone that is outside a chain of command that they might feel a little bit more comfortable uh, speaking to. Coming out here, providing morale for the troops, it's just so important because in an environment like this, when you're away from family, um, you know, you're away from all the support networks, it's awesome to have someone who, you know, you, you can offload and talk about, you know, whatever it may be, uh, is always there to listen. We had an exercise up in Darwin that I drove up for. Before I went, my wife was like, where are you gonna sleep on the side of the road? We kind of decided that we'd get a rooftop tent for the, the truck. It was a phenomenal exercise and, you know, really hot. And we were out from, you know, five o'clock boiling water to like, uh, you know, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. at night. And B Squad and I was able to, you know, I saw them a lot. You know, it was a horrible track to drive to where I had to go. You know, it was a hard slog, but they appreciated it so much. And when they came back, they put on a um, barbecue and a fundraiser. I didn't know what the fundraiser was for. Uh, when I got there that, that evening, they said that uh, we've been tasked to go to the Salvo stores and buy our clothing. So everything they were wearing was from the Salvo stores as uh, you know, a contribute to, to say thank you to you know, the work that the Salvation Army does for them. And, uh, and at the end of the night, they, um, they presented me with a check for the cost of the, um, the rooftop tent. And they said, Vaughan, we just want to thank you for everything that you've done for us. You know, especially over in that exercise at Coolandong, and it's just—it's been an absolute blessing. What it allows me to do is to come out onto this range, no matter where it's here in Coltana or anywhere in Australia. In the evening, put up my rooftop tent and just hang with them. Go to sleep there, wake up in the morning, and just be there for those chats. Be there for those chats after the sun goes down. We have an awesome opportunity to be able to speak into the lives of some of the soldiers. And even though it's a predominantly non 
Christian environment, those faith conversations happen all the time. It's a very important support network that we rely on to get us through these training exercises or make the training exercises that like 1% better. And it's really amazing to um, have that around us. If you don't think you need the Sally Man, I think you you just haven't experienced times like coming out here and uh, experienced time out here because he's a massive morale booster, especially when you've been in the box, you know, you've been uh, tight down for a couple of days and haven't had the chance to kind of have those open chats, have that brew and it's just massive. It's massive. So I think it's definitely something that we, we need. Just to see the smile on uh, all the troops' faces when Vaughn turns up of a day, uh, it's great. Uh, and yeah, without the Sally Man, we'd very much be a different army.